What's going on today, everybody? How's everybody doing out there? It's Joe Barletta here with you with another real estate training video. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about a favorite niche of mine, which is probate. Now, if you're not doing probate uh, marketing for your real estate business, you are missing out. And I find that a lot of people, when they hear the term probate, they either have one of two reactions. One, if you're already an investor and you're familiar with probate, you usually are pretty excited about hearing that because they're a very lucrative source of deals. Or two, most people look at you kind of like if they don't know what probate is, they're kind of like get that like eyes rolling into the back of their head like you're almost mentioning like taxes and legal stuff. So if they don't quite have a firm grasp or understanding on what's involved with it, then they kind of just like, oh God, what, what, what's probate? Um, well, for those of you who don't know, probate is basically uh, when someone passes, let's say, you know, Gam Gam, she, she passes away and uh, she leaves the house to her family. Well, it has to go through a legal process in order for the title of that house to transfer to the heirs. And a lot of times the people who inherit the property, well, maybe there's some debt that's associated with it, or maybe the house needs a lot of work. Um, so these people who inherit these properties, they don't really have a use for them other than they've just been, you know, sometimes left or dropped in their lap, this burden of having to manage this property. Um, you know, if it's maybe the winter time and they got to, you know, keep the heat on and pay the taxes and insurance and all these holding costs, they don't really want to be bothered with that. They're not tied to the equity that's been built up in that house all these years that, uh, you know, that, you know, Gam Gam and Grandpa paid off the mortgage and they worked very hard. They, and the heirs, the grandkids, whoever, they just want to, you know, sell that thing and move on and cash in that, that, that equity, put that money in their pocket. Um, a lot of times, if especially if a, uh, an heir lives out of state, and they they have a hard time having to manage it. They got to go back and forth and take care of the property. It's not something they want to be bothered with. So um, a lot of times there is a high level of motivation in people who have inherited these properties through probate. And while they're a great source of leads for your business, they can be a little bit, it's a list that to market to, it's a little bit more difficult to obtain than a lot of the other ones. There's not really a lot of list providers out there. And if you do find one, they're probably a little bit more expensive than just going after, you know, a standard pre-foreclosure pre list or an absentee owner. So probate leads tend to be a little bit more expensive and rightfully so. They are worth it. If you do find a good uh, provider, there's a handful of them. But if not, and you can't, you don't purchase that list, you're left to your own devices and you have to go down and compile that at your town hall. So um, it, there's a little bit more work involved, which keeps a lot of investors away from it. Because let's face it, most investors are lazy and they like the low hanging fruit and we'll just go after stuff that's on the MLS and then complain that there's no deals out there. So there are a little bit more steps involved in obtaining a probate list. You actually may have to do some legwork and some work to go down to the town hall and compile that list, or you can assemble the minions and you know maybe get a college student or an intern or somebody to go down there and do it for you, train them in how to compile that database. But once you have that list, you have a, a list of people that are not going to be bombarded for the most part, not like, any, not like all the other lists that are out there. It's not as heavily marketed to and hopefully you can get in front of them first. And typically these are properties that you can get at a substantial discount, which are a great fit for, for wholesaling. They're a great fit for potential rehabs. They're a great fit for real estate agents. If you're a realtor, these are great properties to sell for um, clients. So uh, probate is one of our favorite um, sources of deals. I highly recommend that you guys get out there and learn about uh, your, your probate process in your state and connect with some probate attorneys, some estate planning attorneys is a good source of leads as well. And um, I hope this video helps you guys out a lot and you start doing some probate marketing and get some more deals under your belt. For more free tips and training, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Be sure to share it with anyone that you feel will get some benefit and some value out of it, as well as if you would be interested in learning more about how to develop a consistent monthly income utilizing real estate, even if you're starting from scratch without a lot of cash or good credit, be sure to visit 3secretswebclass.joebarletta.com and we will get you rocking and rolling. Hope you enjoyed this training today and talk soon.